Let's react to this video by The Take. It's called Why Young Celebs Look Old and Old Celebs Look Young. Looking younger, younger celebrities are looking older. It seems like no one wants to actually look their own age. Martha Stewart's recent no-filter selfie launched what seemed like a full- Grass is always greener on the other side, right? We always want what we don't have. Scale social media interrogation of her beauty regiments and whether or not she's had any work done. And it reignited the conversation around aging celebrities. Celebrities. What do you guys think? Has Martha Stewart had work done? Comment below. And people like Kylie Jenner have seemingly gotten so much work done in their early years, they end up looking like they're in their 30s long before then. And the most recent troubling trend, buckle fat Yo, we're in this video. <laughs> it's always funny to see us in like other people's videos, but here we are. Thank you, The Take. Removal is making celebs look gaunt, something plastic surgeons say they might seriously regret as they get older. So you get this additional hollowing, so you can get this almost like premature type of facial aging. So in our heavily yes. filtered face-tuned world, are we all in danger of trying to reach some kind of perfection that forces everyone to turn away from their natural looks? I think it is true, like the earlier you start getting these different surgeries, the more of these surgeries you'll likely get over time. So yeah, and you know, does do they age the person? Some of them do. Some might make you look a bit more youthful but there are certain surgeries like the buccal fat removal for example that can cause a more kind of aged look over time and what we lose when everyone's aspiring to something unattainable yeah and also people aspiring to almost look like each other um, which also I think isn't great for society because we all have our individual characteristics and there's something beautiful about that and we're all a bit different so when we get surgeries that try to get us to look just like somebody else that isn't ideal. Celebrities who are able to age without so much as a wrinkle have long been lauded. Their skincare routines sought after. Just getting more rest, drinking more water. But now having a face without lines is basically a celebrity requirement, even into your 80s. Martha Stewart's brand has always been aspirational. How to have the perfect home and live the perfect life, add having the perfect look. Ding me. Whatever this woman's doing, it works. <laughs> her recent selfies were- Well, part of it with this photo is like the angle of her head. As you pull your head up, you know, it really reduces any sag that you might have. You can still see um, the platysmal band down the middle of her neck, but overall, you know, she has a, a fairly tight neckline with this type of angulation, which, you know, is, um, is one that you wouldn't normally uh, see her, you know, that way. But in the way that the photo was shot, you know, it looks that way. But I mean, look, I think she looks great for her age, right? Uh, whatever that means, you know, should she be looking more age appropriate? You know, that is um, a subjective uh, idea. Almost unanimously agrees that there's no way she hasn't had any surgery done when the treatment and instead of coming out and just saying that, hey, I had a plastic surgery and that's why, you know, I look and feel better, most celebrities will, you know, say that it's their skincare uh, routine or the fact that they maybe had a laser procedure. Like, that's the most that they'll admit. It feels like women specifically have to prove that they're still youthful to maintain their social currency in an industry so focused on looks. I wanna be forever young. Shanna? And while men get off the hook, free from being interrogated about what treatments or surgeries they've gotten, there still seems to be a pressure to- well, I don't think they get off the hook for it, but you know, maybe there's a bit less uh, scrutiny compared to women. Uh, that seems to be the case. About Men are clearly also feeling the pressure to stay young. Whether celebrities admit to going under the knife or the needle- Yeah, I would say male plastic surgery is definitely on the rise, uh, just as it is for women, but the overwhelming number of people who get plastic surgery is still primarily women. But you'll find that the primary demographic of people who get hair transplants is primarily men. Social media has a bad habit of creating viral trends out of expensive dramatic beauty treatments and regimes, the latest of which being buckle fat removal. Vogue's Hannah Coates writes that there have been 252 million views of buckle fat related videos on TikTok. And now that people know what to look for, celebrities who once had soft, normal looking cheeks gaining dramatically skull. Yeah, that's what I think is the primary driver for younger people looking older is removing that youthful fat. As we age, we lose that fat. Sometimes people end up getting fat transfer procedures where the fat is taken from say the belly and moved into the face because you know they've lost it over time. But when we're young, we have that nice youthful 
uh, fat and that fat actually has stem cells in it and that keeps the skin looking young. So now if you take that away, people are gonna look older much sooner. Up to cheekbones overnight, the fashion is growing. Why are people getting the surgery? Is it because we're starting to see the rise of very thin people coming back into vogue? Leah Michelle. Yeah, that's part of it, sure. And also that's uh, part of the reason why Ozempic has become popular or drugs like Ozempic. We have a video, make sure to check that out, covering that new trend. Michelle, Amelia Hamlin, Dove Cameron, and several others have all had their new looks picked apart by surgery savvy online sleuths. They have used a lot of our video footage in the creation of this video for the take. So I guess, what did they call us? Surgery savvy online sleuths. I also happen to be a plastic surgeon, so uh, okay, I'll take that. It's impossible not to be alarmed by how things have changed in a relatively short period of time and how the all-consuming presence of social media is accelerating things at lightning speed. Won't somebody please think of the children? We may like to think we've become more progressive, but the way young up-and-coming celebrities are styling themselves suggests that there's still a huge pressure to look and act a certain way, even if they're not ready for that. Yeah, I think people want the best of both worlds, right? They want to have that uh, youth and they want to feel vibrant, energetic, but they also want to look like they've lived like a full life. And those don't always go hand in hand. And sometimes you really need to live that life to then be able to properly where the look, and I think that's something that's getting lost. These standards seem to have one common goal, staying ageless. But when we look at the stars who do embrace their age, is getting older really that bad? In Good Luck to You, Leo Grande, Emma Thompson plays a character who feels like yeah, Getting old is normal, and I think the, the sooner we embrace that, I think the better uh, society will be, to be honest. She's at an age where all the excitement of her life has gone past her and admits to criticizing the younger generation who are, in her eyes, growing old before their time. She got all us girls together for a special assembly. Becky? No, no, go on. And she told us we were all sluts. But over the course of her relationship with the young escort, Leo, these defenses slowly get taken down. And it's not just her understanding that as an older woman, she can still be beautiful, sexy, and desirable, but also us understanding that too. We're invited to consider the nonsensical nature that a woman as beautiful as Emma Thompson could ever have these insecurities, but we also see how society and our experiences can instill them in us and make them hard to shake. Interesting video. I think there's definitely something to be said for looking sort of age appropriate and not totally out of bounds for your actual true age. Um, yeah, I think people need to feel more comfortable in their own shoes and you know, how do we get there? I think it's showing each other more love, to be honest with you. I think if you're growing up uh, in an environment where overall there's great positivity, um, you're not going to feel as much pressure to, to change or fit into a specific mold um, versus someone who is maybe not being told those things and, you know, is um, not really being shown the proper guidance uh, along the way. So I think the way we grew up is very important. Interesting video. Uh, definitely brought up some great points and um, yeah, we'll be looking for more videos from The Take. Thanks.